Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, we're thinking about art that we see out in our city. Have you ever been on a walk with your family or a day trip and seen big, giant sculptures, maybe in the Boston Common or Harriet Tubman's monument in the South End? Or have you been walking around your neighborhood or driving around and seen giant murals painted on the side of buildings? Art that's out and about in the neighborhood is called public art. And that's art that is for the community that lives there to enjoy. And that's what we're going to invent today. There's also an amazing mural artist in Boston named Pro Black. So mural artists, sometimes they have uh, fancy nicknames. And Rob Problack is, makes these amazing monuments that celebrate his family and his neighborhood and give his family and neighborhood a fantastical and science fiction-y kind of spin. So what if his neighborhood, what if people... So he thinks about things like, what if his daughter had a magic power? And I love his artwork. I love seeing it around the city when I'm riding my bike. So this is your challenge. We're going to create an artwork that has a message and is meant to be out in public in your neighborhood. Here's a couple of examples I created. This artwork says, take care of the earth. It's a giant tall mural. And its message is all about taking care of the earth and remembering that even though we're in a city and we see a lot of things that are made by people, we still live in nature as well as remind this mural I made to remind people that you know we still got to take care of the earth by recycling and keeping an eye out for natural animals and plants in our city and making sure that those take and making sure we take care of and plant lots of trees because those make us oxygen so that's what I made this is two-dimensional because it's painted on the side of the building it's flat Here's some three-dimensional ideas that I created. This is the first one. It's inspired by Jim Henson, who created the Muppets. And I would love to see this in a city park somewhere. I'm inspired by Jim Henson, who created the Muppets and Dark Crystal and Sesame Street, which made... millions of children around the world laugh and giggle and he did it using puppets made out of recycled materials sometimes or resourceful materials and I wanted to celebrate that because it's really amazing that he empowered kids as an audience and Sesame Street has such a positive message to all the little kids out there so I made that one I also sketched out this idea I would love for this to be a stone or metal sculpture that celebrates nurses. And here's another one celebrating Fern Cunningham. This one I made using collage. So, art challenge. You're going to think about two things. The first thing is what person or group of people do you think you want to celebrate through making art? The second thing is, what, where in your neighborhood would you like to see that artwork? Do you want to see it painted on the side of a building or as a three-dimensional sculpture in a park? Or do you want to see it painted on the ground for some reason? That would be pretty cool. So you're going to create a sculpt a uh, project inspired by those things. You can use any supplies you have. Drawing, painting, sculpture, Legos even might be kind of interesting here. 
So I hope you have fun thinking about what kind of art you want to see in your neighborhood. Bye. Have fun making public art today. Have a great day. Bye.